Hey, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do another reading for today, the 17th to the 18th of November. Keep in mind the timing is fluid. This could resonate yesterday or next week, whatever. Um, we're just going to see what comes up. This is, is going to be a little bit different, I think, I hope, than the last reading. This is probably, I hope, going to be about something good, but we'll see, right? This is the energy. It's energy. Whatever whatever needs to come out, it's going to come out. And sometimes it's not always pretty, but this is pretty good. Thank you, Lord. Caring connections. That's that's what I was thinking. This is exactly what I was thinking about. I was thinking about love. Coming together with somebody. Community. Oh, you meet somebody when you're out and about? Interesting. Maybe you need to go out and, and party. or And I'm not saying you got to go get drunk. But you need to get out there with your friends and have some fun. You know, or maybe you even go out with your partner and have some fun. Oh, the thinking woman. Just what we need. Think more about it. Let's think some more about this, okay? Oh, okay. Oh, jeez, some girl. You thinking about accepting this guy's heart? Is that what's going on here? This man has his heart. He's He's got it in his hand. And this woman is thinking about accepting it. Interesting, to say the least. But it looks, I mean, has his heart been ripped right out? This man's heart has been ripped right out? So he may be a little weary. He may be a little weary. It's like he's got a, because he can't see his, his, his heart on his pants as well. I don't know what the hell that is. Interesting. Remember I said this could, uh, for some reason I'm getting the message that this is coming I don't think this is the mess. This is the energy I'm picking up on today. But I think this is for the week ahead. I do. The garden in the gate. All you have to do is acknowledge something and you haven't you haven't opened up that door. But it looks like that door is going to be opened. She, this looks like she's waiting. She's waiting. Somebody is waiting for somebody to arrive. This caring connection. Huh? Now you could go to some sort of gathering. A party or... A dinner or a family gathering even. This could be a church gathering. Anything. Any kind of gathering where there's people. And meet somebody. And it makes you go within. Makes you think, okay, now what am I going to do? There's this connection that you've been waiting for. This man's heart is actually open, but he's a little weary. He's been wounded too, and now you have to think about it. I'm confused. I mean, she's by herself. She's independent. She's very intelligent, knowledgeable, successful. And there's an opportunity for, for one to become two. There is. There's an opportunity for a man and a woman to come together.
We're just waiting for the arrival. You're going to meet this person out and about where there's in your community where there's a lot of people, whether it's a gathering or whatever it is, where there's a lot of people, where there's a, it's like there's community there in the community. It could be even at the grocery store for that matter. This could be any kind of gathering of people. There's an opportunity that somebody has been waiting for, for one to become two. Oh, completion, it's a 10. A completion of loneliness that leads to victory. 47 and 45. This, this is a nine, which is a closure of loneliness. Something that she's manifested. Victory. This coming together is going to change your life. Three out of five. Two becomes one. It's divinely guided. It's the answer to your prayers. And it's going to be victorious. Whew, I got the chills. Love it when that happens. Oh, my God, right underneath each other. Oh, Jesus, I knew I had to use this deck. I almost used this deck first today. Wow. That's why I always shuffle on camera. Anyway, um, <laughs> the cards speak for themselves, and I think I've said it all. We have the door to romance opening. Within the next seven days, you are going to need your strength and you have found your strength to persevere in your own loneliness, right? You probably had to go through a period of healing and now, I mean, I don't even know what to say, I'm speechless. I'm ab I don't I'm speechless. There's a there's a new door opening that somebody has been waiting for where two soulmates are coming together. I mean this is a soulmate connection. I cannot make this shit up. The soulmate that you have been praying for and manifesting is being brought to you from these angels above, okay? What more can I say? It's a soulmate connection in which there will be victory and success as this door to romance opens. What you have been waiting for is arriving. Both hearts are ready. Both hearts have been ripped out. And now we have these angels that are bringing these two people together. And it's a reason to celebrate. So that is what I have as far as love goes. I'm not going to keep going. This is absolutely 100% clear cut. We have a new connection here in which a woman and a man are coming together because the timing is absolutely perfect. If you're sitting at home on the couch, this reading is not for you. This union is going to start outside of your house. You're gonna you're gonna run into this person or meet this person in the community.
This is going to be a beautiful union where there's equal give and take. Angel of balance. This woman may fear. She may fear because the angel of strength is here. She may fear getting involved. But I'm here to tell you that both parties have been hurt badly. And there's an opportunity to learn from each other's strength and strengths and weaknesses and come together and be one. So I see a beautiful union here. The door to romance is opening and it's a soulmate connection. Get out there. Don't stay home. Find your confidence, your courage, and your strength. To open that door. You open your door, put yourself out there, and here it comes. You're going to meet this person in the community. Good luck.